Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Soul Sacrifice Delta. And on this episode, we're doing some more online multiplayer in the Age of Escape once again. And the first Archfiend we're taking on is Turwin, which is actually an Archfiend form of a member of the Grim faction. It's a really cool Archfiend. I've only took it on once on a storyline episode I did of this Let's Play walkthrough, but she's really cool and an interesting Archfiend to fight. Right, the teammates I'm playing with are random people online as always most of the time. Um, Basically, I've got one black spell and another teammate who's playing has maybe two black spells. But I didn't want to take people with me that have loads of black offerings because these are still quite low level uh, arch fiends. And um, I want the fights to kind of last a bit longer so that you guys can enjoy the action. So on the last few online episodes I did, um, you know, things were over a bit too quickly. Okay, she's just teleported. Here we've got Behemoth, or Bahamut, whatever you, however you say his name. He's Wild Arms crossover DLC. Um, he randomly appears when you're fighting Archfiends. He only appears when you're fighting, you know, bosses, Archfiends, not minions. So um, he's pretty interesting. So I'm kind of glad he's appeared because I haven't filmed anything against him yet. I don't know why I opted to just run normally there instead of using my fast move, but there we go. Ah, it's worn off. I love this move. This is from the Abyssal Fiends, which again is crossover DLC. Um, I hadn't used it that much until someone commented on one of my videos about fist spells and I was like oh I really don't like them and they mentioned this one so I thought go on then I'll give it a go and it's so much better because it's a lot faster and uh, it's awesome <laughs> it looks badass as well oh cool another guy's using the same offering I am as well I do miss using the terrain and um, bomb combo that someone's put up there for the turret plant but I wanted to go a different build. Damn! Stop me from doing my massive charge up punch. Well, she's not been shocked yet. There goes a glacial orc. Rawr! Down she goes. I don't even know what happened to uh, Bahamut. Whether he was taken down or what. Oh, there he is. He was taken down. Didn't really fight him whatsoever. I will try and do a specific episode dedicated to him, though, at some point. But he was just a nice random appearance in this episode. Huh. 
Well, it just appears randomly, you see, so you can't, like, pick a specific quest dedicated to him. So it's basically look at the draw. First rate sorcerer. Okay, Incubus. I've kept the same offerings that I used against Turwin. Didn't see the point in switching, to be honest. Although the next Archfiend on this episode, I will be switching because the elemental weakness is heat. For the next Archfiend, that is, Incubus doesn't have an elemental weakness. So I've just opted to stick with Vault. Someone's brought the glass slippers like me as well. On red. Probably gonna die any second. Dead. On everyone, good work. God speed. Yeah, I was going to say, I <laughs> didn't get many points that time. Oh well, I'm not farming for offerings. I do all my farming off camera really, so... Okay, so now we're on to the troll. Feel the wrath of my fire!
Charge up again. Oh yeah. Down he goes. Sweet. That was so quick, that fight against the troll. <laughs> Legendary. Okay guys, I'm going to stop this episode here. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you have time, feel free to comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to help me out even further, don't forget to favourite and share this video. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.